Okay, as you can see, I'm starting to um, make the piece of metal for the uh, seat base flange, and I've cut, taken a piece of angle, and I've cut in a bunch of slits on it. Let me get around here and uh, show you a little bit more close up of what I'm about to do. So I'm going to shape the metal to fit the transmission hop and that's how I do have done that is I've cut slits out of the angle and then I've uh, put one screw in up top self-tapping screw to hold it in place and now as you can see even with just my hand it shapes very easily to the shape of the uh, transmission hop already just that little bit of push so I'm going to take a brass uh, piece of square stock and use it to shape the angle to the hump of the transmission. And I've already cut out the front of the uh, seat base for this angle to fit, and then I'll cut it to length right here. I think it, the other piece stops right in here somewhere. And then I'll uh, clamp it on, I'll tack this all on, and then after that I'll take a piece of copper to the back side where you see my fingers through there. I'll clamp this on, tack it to the seat base, pull this whole seat base off. It's screwed in with self-tapping screws. And then I'll uh, start filling in these seams. And I'll have to make some adjustments to the cuts. I think there's a little cut right here that's going to end up not having a big enough gap to bend backwards. So, And the other way you can do this is with a shrink shrinker stretcher which I have, but I don't have the base for it. And so without a base and a foot pedal, it's too hard to do this by yourself. And I think this is 16 gauge steel, which I don't know, I've never used shrink or, shrink or, <laughs> shrink or stretcher, but uh, it may be hard to do with that gauge of metal. So I'm gonna stop the camera now and I'm gonna shape this in place and then I'll pick up after I've tack welded it in place.